Hello, my name is Stuart Wright from AV Forums, and this is a video about the lighting in the new AV Forums home cinema, which, while it uses uh, common components, uh, is put together in a way which is reasonably unique. So I've asked Simon Ridley of Sontech, the installer, to explain a little bit about it. Well, quite early in the design process, um, it, was, it was obviously wanted it as a family room, and um, we wanted to make sure that the you know that that wasn't just a, you know, a normal white light. We wanted to do something that was a, a little bit fun as well. Um, so we we talked about having uh, colour change um, LEDs within the room, and actually we've made that the primary focus uh, for, for all the lighting in the room. So actually all the, the lighting is colour changing RGB lighting. Obviously it still allows us to have it as white lighting as well because if we put all three mix all three colours, it will create the white light. Um, so we've uh, we've specified two different types of uh, RGB lights in the room. One's that's down lighting, the other is uh, tape, uh, RGB tape lighting. Um, so that's in two different locations. One's um, above the seating um, area, so we've got the, the down lights um, above the seating uh, and the six down lights in the room. And then at the front of the room, above the, uh, the screen removable panels, we've got a, um, a, a, light, a tape strip the full width of the room, so that washes across the ceiling. And then we've also got a washer across the ceiling from the back of the room that's behind the, uh, the bulkheads. These are the, uh, the downlighters that we're using in the room, and uh, you'll notice they've got quite substantial uh, heat sink on the, on the back. Um, that's because uh, the, there are three watt um, LED RGB downlight, uh, and that will produce quite a bit of heat. People are quite surprised about it. You know, people think you know, LEDs are cool, and, um, and, and they are cool compared to a you know, typical halogen light source, but they, they, they create enough heat to actually damage themselves, so an LED chip on its own will, will you know, quite quickly cook itself. Uh, so they need to have uh, some reasonable uh, heat dissipation on them. So a lot of the replacement bulbs you'll get in the market, depending on the quality, you know, some of them will build in, build in the heat sink and some, some of them don't. You know, the, the cheaper ones tend not to because it's not a, you know, it, obviously a bit of weight in there, it needs a bit of, uh, bit of manufacturing. So they are, they are slightly more expensive uh, than a, you know, for a replacement bulb, but you'll, you'll get the, the lifespan out of them as well. So most you know, new LED fittings as opposed to re replacement fittings will have that built into them. This is the um, the RGB tape we're using. Um, so an LED tape with the red, green, and the blue uh, LEDs uh, along the length of it. It comes in uh, a five meter reel, uh, but it's cuttable with a pair of scissors every 100 millimeters. Um, so we can easily create the, the exact lengths we need within the in the room um, to within the, you know, each 100 millimeter. So when we're doing a strip along a coffer, you simply uh, roll it out. It's got a self-adhesive backing on, so peel the backing on, stick it down, and then when you get to the end, you cut it off to length. Um, it comes pre-terminated as well, so you know, so there's not even any soldering to do with this uh, this particular um, uh, brand. Um, so you just literally plug it in and uh, and plug it into the driver that controls it, and away you go. Um, the brightness of, depending, uh, of LEDs is, is is going to be dependent. So a true white LED or a, um, a, you know, warm white LED is going to be fairly uh, similar to, to a halogen uh, output. Um, it is now can be as, you know, as, as bright as a normal downlighter. Um, you, you will pay a you know, premium to get that and to get the colour rendering the same as a, a, a halogen um, a halogen downlight, but it can be as warm as, uh, uh, as bright as a normal downlight. Um, RGB will, using RGB LEDs is going to restrict that um, slightly because you are using the red, the green and the blue to create the white light so it's not going to be, it's not going to be as bright. Um, one of the key things we've done here is we're using it as a wash across the ceiling so it's not a directional light um, and we're using the, the, the wash really because it's quite a low ceiling as well so we wanted to get some light onto the ceiling and create the, which gives you a feeling of space, it's not quite as oppressive. We've already put a slightly darker colour on the ceiling, it's not, yeah. It's not a white ceiling for obvious reasons with the cinema, but um, we've, we've wanted to be when we need to, and, you know, have it as a, a more of a, 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 an open space and, and you know, not watching a film. We wanted that to be a, a, a brighter colour on the ceiling. Um, in the room, we've got uh, just short of five metres. Happens we've got uh, w one length that's at 4.8 metres and the others at 4.5 metres. So it's quite a, it's a good, good wash right across the ceiling. Uh, one of the nice things about the uh, the LED is it's. it's I've mentioned it a couple of times, it's plug and play pretty much. Um, so it, these particular downlighters come with a, uh, a termination on the end and it's, it's Cat5 that's connecting it. So it's, it's got an RJ45 uh, connection. Uh, you don't want to go plug it into your network, it's, it's not like that, but it's, uh, it's, it's the same connectors that you use for a, a network connection. Um, so it's got, it comes with a, a T-piece connector, so uh, literally just click 
click the, uh, the LED into that, and then you run, you daisy chain the LED. So in this case, there's six. So there's a, a, an RG, so an RJ45 connector uh, network cable that goes between each of the LEDs and, uh, and provides the power. So there's literally just low voltage power going from that back from the, uh, the power supply. Um, so there's no, there's, you know, there's no mains cabling. It's something that can be fitted yourself quite easily. This is the, uh, the low voltage power supply that we're using for the downlights uh, in the room. Um, so it takes a, a standard cat lead connection into the uh, one end of it, so you literally just plug that into your uh, into main socket and uh, you've, that's, that's all the mains power connections that's done. So again, there's no hardwired mains connections. Um, and then we've got a uh, RJ45 connector to take your Cat5 cable out to your first LED and then through the teeth pieces that I uh, yeah, showed earlier. So it's a simple plug and play. Well, this is uh, this is controlled via a, a, a protocol called DMX, which is uh, all the LEDs are uh, controlled via in the uh, in the room. Uh, and if you're not familiar with DMX, then uh, you've almost definitely seen it uh, in use. Um, so if you've ever been to a concert or uh, any sort of production, or indeed watch X Factor on a Saturday night, then you'll have seen DMX. So any of the lighting, um, the sort of coloured lighting, and the uh, the effects that you'll see of that have been controlled by DMX. So it's a very robust protocol, and it's, it's massively used throughout the world. Uh, it's less seen in uh, in any residential applications. But there's, there's no reason for it not to be. And certainly with colour changing LED, it's now becoming more of a uh, more of a used protocol back in the in the home environment. Um, so basically, we take a Cat5 cable again, uh, so it's easy to uh, it's easy to install. So we take, we link the three drivers uh, that we've got in the room. So in this case, we've got one for the front LED tape, one for the back, and one for the downlighting. And we take that back to a DMX controller. Uh, and in the in the case of your stage lighting, the DMX control will be a big lighting mixing desk or a, a com central computer. Uh, in this case, it's we've got the central control system which is providing those commands, and uh, we're sending that out, those out so we can control it from the iPad or indeed the uh, the light switch at the door. Uh, the advantages of being able to control the colours in the room because we've got uh, RGB lighting means that you can have it. You know, because it, it, it's not just this. Um, cinema space, it's, you know, it's, it's a living space as well, you can have a bit of fun with it. So if you want to be able to go in there and you know, create a, sort of a, a red wash of moody light around the room, one of the colours of it's got you know, a bluey tinge to it, it's quite a light, we've got quite a light colour where the LEDs are, so across the ceiling it's got a, quite a light colour, so if you wash light across that, actually it's going to reflect right around the room, so you can instantly change the, the look and feel of the room, so we can put blue light on and it'll become quite, you know, quite cool and uh, sort of chilled and laid back. We can put a red light on and it's going to become you know, quite intimate and, uh, and feel much warmer in the room. So uh, we can play with those and that's, that's going to be controllable by an iPad app. So you'll be literally real time be able to control that lighting and uh, set the lighting scene depending on your mood at the time. Disco lights? And disco lights, so we're going to be able to uh, if we, you know, have a colour changing mix of lights, so we can set that on a cycle, so it's going to cycle between all the colours, or indeed cycle you know, between greens and blues, or, or reds and yellows, so we can, uh, can have some fun with that. So that's the lighting in the new AV Forums Home Cinema. I hope it's given you some ideas perhaps on how to create the lighting in your own entertainment room. Check out how the lighting looks in the completed home cinema uh, at AV Forums. Mm -hmm.